everyone, Miss Terry here. It is time to do our last Q practice of Q week. Remember, you can watch these as many times as you want to. It's good to get lots of practice over the week and over the month on the letters that we're going over. You can watch them every day if you want, but I um, this is the second one of Q week and we're moving on to letter R next week. So here is our second try. We are going to be going over, we're, we're going to be singing our Queenie Queen song, and we are going to be practicing writing some cues. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. And <clears throat> we will also be um, talking about how we form a cue with our Play Doh and doing some cutting around our cues. Okay? So let's start with our song. Let's hope Miss Terry's voice holds up on this one. All righty. Queenie Queen visits the city today. Queenie will buy cues for games that she'll play. Queenie's not quiet when she sees a cue. Queenie is so quick. She knows what to do. Very nice. So I heard some Q words in there, words that start with Q. I heard queen and queenie. Her name is queenie and she's a queen. I heard quick and I heard quiet. Those are all words that start with qu, qu, qu. Qu is the sound that Q makes. It's actually two sounds together. It's our throat sound, k, and it is our curl your lip sound, wa, wa, wa. It's kind of the pucker sound, like you're gonna give your mom or dad a big kiss. That's how we make a wa, 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 wa. So we put those two sounds together, k, wa, k, wa, qua, qua, qua. That's the sound that the letter. Q makes. All right, we're going to sing that song again. Um, and you can replay it as many times as you want. Miss Terry's only got it one more time in her. So let's do this. Queenie Queen visits the city today. Queenie will buy cues for games that she'll play. Queenie's not quiet when she sees a cue. Queenie is so quick. She knows what to do. Well done. Alrighty, let's talk about the letter Q. So you may have a Q packet that is just two pages, or you might have a thick one and you might need to pull the top two pages off. I'll let your grown up figure that part out. I'm going to take off the Play Doh Q. And I'm going to take off the cue that we're going to cut. We don't have um, a cue for our wooden pieces today because cue is kind of an awkward one. So Miss Terry's nixing that this week. It's a little bit tricky with the wooden sticks. So we're going to stick with the Play Doh cue. So remember that. You're going to take your Play-Doh and you're going to roll it into Play-Doh snakes, into a long Play-Doh snake, and you're going to wrap that snake into a big circle. And then you're going to roll a short line for our cue. Because remember, if you forget to roll the short line, you're going to end up with an O. That's a whole nother letter. That's a letter we did a couple weeks ago but we're doing a Q. It's like an O, it goes round and round, and then we add a short line. It's two curves and a short line. I can show you that with the wooden sticks. Let's look at that. So a Q, we start out with an O, so two big curves, right, like that. 
and then we have to add a short line. So you can do this without the page. It doesn't fit on a page, so Miss Terry wasn't able to print that out. But we can do it without the paper. Can you take your two big curves and put them together? That makes an O. And then we have to add our short line. And now we have a Q, just like this one. I'll build it on here. And then I add my short line, just like that. There's my Q. Alrighty, so that is our Q with our wood pieces. You can get your Play-Doh out and roll your Play-Doh snakes. You can put it on pause or you can do that after the video is done. Um, and if you need some help, if you want to have some videos about making those those Play-Doh snakes, remember you can go back in Miss Terry's blog to A and B and C and D, back to August and September. And with each of those letters, Miss Terry shows how you form the Play-Doh snakes. So if you would like to practice that, those are great videos if you're three or you're just starting out in the program to learn how to make those Play-Doh snakes. Alrighty, now we're gonna move on to cutting out our cue and in just a second, we're going to draw some. We're going to talk about drawing them. Okay, first of all, Miss Terry is going to draw a, what is Miss Terry going to draw? She's going to do a triangle today. We're going to cut around the triangle. So Miss Terry's going to draw a triangle around each of the cues. Okay, there's one triangle and another triangle. Okay, now Miss Terry is going to get her scissors out. You can also get your scissors out. Here's Miss Terry's scissors. I'm going to put my thumb in the top. See, the smaller hole is at the top. I'm going to put my thumb in there and the rest of my fingers go in the bottom. And I'm going to snip, snip, snip. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. That's how we cut. Alrighty, so I'm going to cut first. I'm going to cut down the line just like that. Here we go. I'm going to cut down one, two, three, four, five, six. That took me six snips. So I had my worker hand that did the snipping, the cutting, and I used my helper hand to hold the paper. Little Q, big Q. Little Q, big Q. All right, we're gonna cut out, we're gonna cut the triangles out, we're gonna cut around each Q. So my helper hand's gonna hold the paper and my worker hand, thumb up, is gonna cut on the lines of the triangle, we're going to cut around the Q in a triangle shape. Snip, 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 snip. Now Miss Terry has to turn the paper, still holding with helper hand. You can do this down on the table. You'll want to do this on the table. Miss Terry's doing up so you can see. Snip, 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 snip. Snip, snip, snip. Now I'm going to turn the paper again. I got one more line of the triangle. Snip, 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 snip. And I cut around my little cue in a triangle shape. When you get to kindergarten, you'll be cutting out lots of shapes. So you'll need to practice this. Okay, now we're going to do the other triangle that's around. This triangle is around the big Q. Here I go. Helper hand holds the paper. Snip, 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 snip. Now I'm going to turn the paper. Snip, 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 snip. Helper hand is still holding. Turn the paper. Snip, 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 snip. And look, I cut around the cue in a triangle shape. I cut on each of the three lines that shape the triangle, that form the triangle. And the triangle you can see is around the cue. 
So I have a triangle around my big Q and a triangle around my little Q. Look at that. My big triangle, my big Q is on a triangle and my little Q is on a triangle. All right. Thanks for joining me for that. Really quick, let's practice writing some cues. You can use chalk on the sidewalk, chalk on a chalkboard. You can use pens and paper. You can use a pencil. You can use crayons. You and your grown up can decide how you're going to practice. Miss Terry's going to use um, my whiteboard. So I'm just going to hold it like this. I'm going to slide these up. We're not going to practice the little Q right now. We're going to practice the big Q. And um, this is a good one to practice even when you're only three because we need to start learning how to do lines and circles. So cues are perfect for that. All right, here we go. So where do we start our letters? At the top. We always start at the top and go around. There's our circle and there's our short line around and short line, around, short line, around, short line. That's all there is to it, around. So I want you to be practicing lots of around this week, just like for the O, lots of around and lots of lines. So Q is made up of around and lines. So if you're not ready to write a cue, you can still practice going around and doing lines. That's the beginning of writing. Practice away, enjoy, have fun with it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.